This is part 5 of the entire series of installing a triple boot Mac OS, Linux, and Windows 11 on my 2012 Classic Mac Pro. In this video, we're going to install Zorin OS. It is based on Ubuntu 2004. And in order to install it, we need to resize the existing partition of Mac OS Big Sur. As always, please make sure you back up your data before you do any steps in this video because I'm not responsible for any of your data loss. With that being said, let's get started. All right, we are in Mac West Pixel right now. Let's go ahead and get into this utility. As you can see on my screen, that's my one terabyte SSD uh, NVMe. Hit that uh, partition button and let's go ahead and add a new partition. So make sure we're adding a partition here instead of adding volume because adding volume doesn't seem to work well with Linux. So go ahead and hit that add partition button. So now you can see that tiny circle that you can drag to the left and to the right. And that's basically uh, resizing the existing partition to any size that you want to. So I'm gonna go with um, 320. So we'll Drag it a little bit more, it's too much. There you go, 320. And let's name it um, Zorin. And format the partition to Mac OS extended. It doesn't really matter, but because later it's gonna get reformatted into extended four, but let's go ahead with the Mac OS extended. All right, hit partition. Uh, it's gonna take some time, so feel free to skip or fast forward the video if you want to. I'm gonna fast forward this video and I'll be right back. All right, so the new partition is created. So let me show you that, there you go. We got a Zorin partition successfully created. So now let's go ahead and reboot the machine. And I'm gonna insert my USB installer of Zorin OS. And there you go, you can see the USB flash. And let's put into the Zorin OS installer. All right, select install Zorin OS. It's going to take some time, so feel free to fast forward or skip the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are here and we are ready to install Zorin OS. So you can go ahead and hit that install Zorin OS. I choose English US my, as my keyboard layout. Hit continue. And install the third party software. Hit continue. All right, so this is the most important part of all. You do not want to erase disk and install certain OS. So you choose something else. Remember that we created earlier a partition for Sorin OS. So we're gonna look into this partition list and make sure we select the correct one. So Dev SDA is 64 gigabytes. That's my, my Mac OS High Sierra. So this is the NVMe. So my NVMe with Mac OS Big Sur is right here. And that is the 320 gigabytes that we allocated for Sorin OS. So let's select that partition and hit the change button. All right, 
choose the format as extended for and check mark on the format partition and choose root as the mount point okay all right let's make sure that this is a partition this is a correct partition has a check mark and choose the bootloader installation on the same partition and hit install now all right make sure that you have the correct disk before you hit to continue and let's choose the location i'm in los angeles area i'm gonna put zorin as my name and then put your password twice and hit continue all right from here and on the installer is gonna do what it needs to do so i'm gonna fast forward the video and i'll be right back Okay, so installation is done. So we're gonna reboot the machine. So let's go ahead and hit that restart now. All right, it's asking me to remove the installation medium. So I remove my USB flash. All right, so it's showing up as EFI with the open core logo. And that's exactly where you want to get into the Zorin OS. So let's give it some time for Zorin OS to boot up. All right, and there you go. You can hit enter and provide with the password, or you can use a mouse to click that Zorin user account. Oops, I entered the wrong password. Let me do it again. And there you go, we are in Zorin OS. So if you want, you can go and start the tour. So I have done it earlier, so I will just hit no thanks. And if you can see here, there are a lot of accessories, games, educational edition for school. All right, let's go ahead and try to restart this machine and see if we can still get into Mac OS Big Sur. All right, let's select the Mac OS Big Sur. And there you go, we are in a Mac OS Big Sur. That concludes part five of installing Zorin OS alongside Mac OS Big Sur. Please stay tuned for part six in which I'm gonna install Windows 11 alongside both Mac OS and Linux. Make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoy watching this video. You can also leave comments and questions in the comment section down below. Alright, I hope you all the best and see you in the next video.